Hey everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above of each of these widgets to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. We appreciate your love and support. This is going to be on the Kansas City Royals reuniting with their franchise great before they moved on from him oh so many years ago in Zach Granke. They also were able to flip Mike Miner, the starting left-handed pitcher, for a relief lefty in Amir Garrett, the fire in his belly. Amir Garrett, who also has nasty stuff with his breaking ball fastball combination, if he's able to control the strike zone and control <clears throat> um, himself a little bit. But he is a very fun energizer guy to watch, similar to how Joe Kelly uh, kind of gets on the other team and does all that crazy old school stuff that I actually don't mind watching. Uh, he's fun to watch in that aspect. Um, when it comes to, obviously, Zach Greinke, this is a really cool feel-good story because if it is kind of the end of the run for Greinke and this is one of his last seasons or the last season, it's cool for him to get to go to the Kansas City Royals again, get to um, be back where he obviously enjoyed his time there. He just wanted to, it was just years ago, time to move on from where the Royals were at to where he wanted to be, and that's what it was. But now he gets to go back there. The fans get to... um. Cheer on Zach Greinke again for one year, $13 million, and I think he'll definitely pitch well enough uh, to earn that contract. I see Zach Greinke, uh, especially with less pressure pitching for a team like Kansas City, honestly getting a pretty good season, somewhere in the low threes, 3-5 ERA at the very worst. And uh, he's a good control artist and still is a great guy to have for the young prospects that continue to come up, plus the Kellers that are already there in the rotation already. So I think... I think this team is very smart and very wise. Bringing in Amir Garrett was also a very smart move because they have to focus on, obviously, having a relief pitcher when they already have. They brought in a, a guy as good as Zach Rick. You don't really need another veteran, so you get rid of the veteran lefty. I think that was actually a smart move for the Kansas City Royals as well because Amir Garrett could end up being one of your best bullpen pieces, and then you brought in Zach Greinke as well. You also have Scott Barlow, who's good out there, Chris uh, Bubik. They did bring Taylor Clark over, so we'll see what he's able to do um, from the Arizona Diamondbacks organization. And then, as I mentioned, Brad Keller, I really like Daniel Lynch. Uh, Kohler's also good. Brady Singer, obviously, if he can stay healthy. I mean, he's a perfect pitcher to have as a veteran when you have all these young cats that are coming up the pipe. And I think the rumors about Zach Greinke sometimes not being the best in terms of that stuff, I think that's BS. Just because he's someone like myself at times that goes through anxiety stuff and all that type of stuff, it doesn't mean he's not great at mentoring guys. I think he's going to do a fantastic job um, at mentoring these young pitchers with the Kansas City Royals. So this has been a quick video on the Kansas City Royals, bringing back Zach Greinke, a good feel, good story, plus also trading Mike Miner to be able to get Amir Garrett. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please continue to subscribe down below. Or up above, an easy-to-use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. Much love, everybody, and have a great day.